Hey guys, I'm Chef Pam. Welcome back to my kitchen. This is Chef and More. And today we are going to do something just a little bit different. This will not be an actual cooking video today, guys. You know, a lot of us use cast iron skillets. And as many of you know, you really should not wash your cast iron skillets. And as a matter of fact, you shouldn't even put water in them. So you shouldn't be rinsing them out either. So I'm going to show you today how to properly clean your cast iron skillet. Let's get busy. Okay guys, as you can see, I have a small hot plate here. It's not actually necessary to clean your cast iron skillet, but you'll need a little heat. So, um, since I didn't want to go all the way over to my stove, I wanted to keep everything here so you guys could see what I'm doing. I'm just using the hot plate. But guys, I'm going to turn it on just so it can be ready to heat up my skillet when I need it to. Um, let me just say before we begin, as you can see, my skillet needs to be clean. I've used it. It has a little bit of oil in it, it has a little bit of residue in it from what I cooked. And what you'll also need is some kosher salt. You'll need some kosher salt and you'll need a dish towel. Okay guys, don't use your good dish towel. Use something you can either throw away or rewash and continue to use for the same purpose. Don't use your good towel guys, okay? It's going to get messed up. Hint, hint, it is going to get messed up. So I'm going to grab a couple of paper towels so I can wipe the extra residue that's just laying there out of my skillet first. And I also want to say, guys, you can heat your skillet up on anything. If you're cooking outdoors, and uh, a lot of people grill. They grill a lot, and they're always outdoors. You might be camping. You can do this camping or anywhere. If you're outside, just sit it back on your grill for a few minutes. You're just going to warm it up. You don't want it to get too hot. So all I'm doing now is getting this extra oil and I think I have some ground beef in the skillet. I'm getting that out with any other little bits that I can pick up out of here. That's all I'm doing right now. Just getting the little extra out of the skillet. Okay, so make sure you have all your work. As much as you can get out, out. The paper towel is dry. There's still no water involved. this out. All right, here is a few little crumbs. Toss this aside. And let's see here. Okay, next thing you want to do guys is sprinkle your skillet with generously with kosher salt. Sprinkle it generously with kosher salt guys. Just like that. Okay, now what we want to do is heat this up just a little bit guys just a little bit you don't want it too hot you should still be able to pick up your skillet with your hand so you don't want it too hot at all so i'm just going to sit it over here right quick and let that heat up for a couple of seconds i'm going to grab a couple more paper towels because i'll need them in the end as well okay i think we should be hot enough we can always put it back on there if we need to i'm going to turn this off and move it out the way Okay guys, and again, the towel is also, the towel is also dry. Move this over just a tad bit, there you go. And all you're doing is rubbing the salt around into the bottom. It'll pick up any extra residue that's on the bottom. You're just moving the salt around in the bottom of your skillet guys. This is how you clean your cast iron skillet. And you want kosher salt. You need that thickness of the kosher salt to do this. So grab you some kosher salt. And clean your skillet properly after you've used it, guys. You want that seasoning to stay in there. The oils. The things that you used before, 
That's what helps keep a cast iron skillet from sticking. And that's also what provides a lot of flavor to your cast iron skillet. Okay. And I think we are just about done here. Yes. Okay. As you guys can see, I'm gonna lift this up. My towel is dirty, that's why you don't wanna use a good one, but you can wash this and reuse it for the same purpose. See how brown the salt is now? It picked up everything in there. Now I'm gonna lay these paper towels. Typically guys, if I wasn't doing this for you all, I would just take it over and empty it out in a plastic bag or my trash can or something, but I wanna to try to stay here so you guys can see everything. So I'm just going to, let me scoop this over. I'm making a hot mess, but I usually don't do this on my countertop. Ah, so forgive me guys. Just want you to see how nice and clean my skillet is. And I haven't touched any water. I'm gonna fold that part in so I can wipe one more time. Okay. Let me set this aside. Okay guys, now my skillet is nice and clean and looking new. Look at that guys. Look at that, can you see that really well? Nice, clean skillet. Yes. No water, no soap, and only a couple of minutes. And the more you do it, the quicker it will become. Because like I said, I wouldn't have done this whole setup. So it would have been even quicker for me to do this. So I do this every time when I use my cast iron skillet. Now I'm ready to use it again. Okay guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you all got something out of that. Learn how to properly clean your cast iron skillets. Give me a thumbs up. Guys, subscribe to the channel. I also have channel memberships. Join the channel if you would like to support me even more. Okay guys, leave me some comments. Have you ever cleaned your cast iron skillet the right way? <laughs> okay guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. And also guys, one more thing before I get out of here. If you want more of these how-to videos for different things in the kitchen um leave me a comment let me know what you'd like to see in the how-to category or just what else besides cooking because you know guys the kitchen entails a lot more than cooking and i'll leave it at that until next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time the good lord willing the creek don't rise